In this clip, I'm going to explain how to determine which points list or lists you'll need in order to correctly create a competition database. There are a couple of reasons why you need to make sure that you're using the correct points list or in some cases lists. For starters, the points list is a membership roster. As such, the points list confirms whether or not an athlete has obtained the membership necessary to participate in your competition. Secondly, the points list provides seed and age class information necessary to create a fair start order. So in order to be fair and responsible, you need to make sure you are using the correct points list when creating your competition database. The first question you need to ask yourself is whether or not you are hosting a FIS competition. If it is, you'll need to use both the current FIS and USSA point lists. That's because a USSA sanctioned FIS race is scored by both the USSA and FIS. In order to submit results, each competitor must be identified by both a USSA number and a FIS number. Updated points lists are published throughout the year. You can find the current publication schedule on the USSA website. For example, assume that you were hosting a FIS race from February 27th through March 3rd, 2013. That means you would have needed FIS and USSA lists. USSA List 8 was valid starting on February 7th, and USSA List 9 was valid starting on February 28th. So in this case, you would have referenced USSA List 8 on your first day of competition, February 27th, and then you would have switched to USSA List 9 commencing February 28th. In contrast, FIS List 9 was valid from February 21st through March 13th, so you would have used FIS List 9 throughout your race series. For more information, see the latest edition of the Data Management Study Guide.